Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Dear friends, welcome back. So, we in our previous lecture, we finished uh, a preliminary approach for wing planform geometry selection, where the driving factors are CL design, uh, which depends upon the wing loading, right. So, CL design from the level flight conditions, it is twice depends upon 2 upon 2 times W by S upon density of density at that particular uh, flight altitude times v square right flight velocity square so from the so we observed for a given flight velocity or the mission requirement we, we with the variation of w by s there is a variation of cl design right so based upon this cl design we have proceeded ahead and this w by s and with some non dimensional parameters as an input such as aspect ratio and taper ratio we figured out how to estimate the wing planform geometry in terms of span of the uav right which is uh, aspect ratio times area, where area you got S is from W upon wing loading W by S, which you have considered as an input, right, variable of the iteration. And then using this S here, you, you figured out what is the span for, the, for a given aspect ratio. And then with the input of lambda taper ratio, you got what is the root chord, what should be the root chord to achieve that area with the span, with that particular span, right, which means this is equals to 2s upon b times 1 plus lambda. So, lambda is this input here, ok. And then you figured out what is Ct based upon lambda, which is Cr times uh, C, Cr times lambda, right. So, with that uh, we estimated what should be the wing planform area, right. So, but CL design ideally depends upon, so planform area governs the total force here, is not it? But the cross sectional properties governs this particular CL. We need certain CL design for a given wing planform area and the weight of the UAV, which uh, more or less we can say it, this CL design depends upon this wing loading and this CL design is governed by the cross sectional properties of the wing, right? is not it? The force is governed by S here, planform area, lifting area and now with that lifting area and uh, like uh, lifting area and then say the dynamic pressure you are now having CL value is not it. So, the CL factor varies from what 0 to say typically 1.2, 1.3 years tall. So, more or less when you operate at a at certain angle of attack where the CL is within less than no uh, 1. So, it is actually decreasing the overall lift that it will generate is not it. Half rho v square s itself is a lift no? uh, or say it is a force multiplied this by this non dimensional term right will will uh, talk about the total lift generated right so this cl is governed by the no cross sectional properties now like in the current uh, lecture we, we are going to discuss about what should be cl alpha for the wing and cl uh, and alpha trim so in order to achieve this cl what we call it as cl design right we need to we need to talk in terms of what should be cl alpha of the platform right or uh, say CL naught of the platform or say alpha at which CL is equals to 0 or alpha or say yeah definitely and instead of or we should use and here any CL naught or alpha at which CL is equals to 0 anything is sufficient right either this this or this CL naught or alpha at which CL is equals to 0 and alpha design which corresponds to CL design here, right? is not it or not? Do you remember this formulation? So, we assumed a linear variation of CL with alpha till certain domain, right? after that there will be non-linear variation near stall, there is a loss in lift. right? So, within a linear regime, so what we have is alpha at which CL is 0, this we discussed many times. right? So, say if I am 
so let us say this is my CL design corresponds to CLD and this corresponding alpha at which I can achieve this CL design is alpha D right. So using the uh, definition of slope CL alpha of this wing entire wing should be uh, or say CL design minus CL at which uh, uh, alpha at which CL is 0 is the CL at alpha at which CL 0 is 0 is not it upon alpha design minus alpha at which C L is equals to 0. So, C L design is equals to C L alpha times alpha d minus alpha at which C L is 0 is not it am I correct or not. So, that means, if I have to talk about this C L design I need to talk about C L alpha which is again the cross sectional property of the wing say let us say there is a wing here that is giving you the lift desired lift right. So, say this is the wing that you have designed it is giving you the desired lift right. So, but the cross section is what is going to the wing area is going to help you with this half probe square yes right, but the cross section is what is going to help you with the corresponding CL design. So, when you talk about cross section that means you need to talk about CL alpha right C, CL alpha of the entire wing and then finally, the entire wing is made out of cross section at each and every location right that means you need to know what should be the profile that you need to generate select for that particular wing to be frank it what should be the aerofoil that you need to select right how can you select that aerofoil by knowing what should be the corresponding aerodynamic characteristics of a particular aerofoil now say if you get what should be say in order to generate the cl design what should be the three dimensional cl alpha right and alpha design as well as alpha at which cl is zero if you know those parameters then you can convert them to two dimensional profile what should be C L alpha 2 D based upon 3 D data right and the wing plan form geometry in terms of aspect ratio and E you can use those values to find out what should be the corresponding C L 2 D here right is not it. So, for example, see this from aerofoil to aerofoil this particular the same C L design can be achieved at different alpha D am I correct or not alpha design if you select a particular aerofoil it has a particular alpha at which CL is equals to 0 which we thought more or less constant for wing as well as airfoil right and alpha design for wing will be different as well as airfoil is different right. So, but for the time being we assume uh, both are more or less same right otherwise alpha design uh, we will say it is uh, possible at a particular angle of attack right. Uh, three dimensional angular of attack from there you find out what is alpha at which CL is equals to 0 very alpha at which CL is equals to 0 for those for a given alpha design right. By doing so what happens is the CL alpha varies because you know CL design you have fixed alpha design right you make these two as a variables of the itera uh, iteration. So, you can find out the corresponding CL alpha is not it once you know CL alpha 3D you can find out what is CL alpha 2D because you know what is aspect ratio and you know what is E based upon the previous uh, uh, what you call discussion right. We have developed this previous subroutine based upon uh, for the plan form selection. So, there from there you figure out what is the aspect ratio and what is the E right. Then using those two values as an input here you can find out CL alpha 2D. So, to be frank it is like CL alpha 3D is equals to C L design upon alpha d minus alpha at which C L is equals to 0 right. So, this is same for aerofoil as well as wing is not it. So, depending upon this we can find out what is C L alpha 2 d right what is C L alpha 2 d yeah C L alpha 3 d upon 1 minus C L alpha 3 d upon phi e a r. So, we know what is e what is a r right you can find out what is C L alpha 2 D from there fine. Once you know like C L alpha 2 D you know you can find out based upon this alpha at which C L is equals to 0 you can find out C L naught 2 D C L naught 2 D is equals to minus of C L C L alpha 2 D times alpha at which C L is equals to 0. The C L alpha 2 D is equals to minus C L alpha uh, C L naught 2 D is minus C L alpha 2 D times alpha at which C L is equals to 0 right. So, you can find out 2 D as well as here from here you, you can also find out what is 3 D C L not required C L not required is like C L alpha 3 D times 
alpha at which C L is equals to 0 is not it minus of ok. So, once you know C L naught what should be the 2 D C L naught what should be the 2 D C L alpha and what should be alpha at which C L is equals to 0 2 D again right 2 D and 3 D are same. So, then you will be more or less getting that uh, you will be able to find out what should be uh, the corresponding error file from the error file database right. So, that is how you can select the error file here ok. Fine. So, let us now uh, write an algorithm to do this. So, it is a new script again. So, so what we have is uh, C L underscore design right. So, C L underscore design from our previous uh, performance uh, like wing plan form geometry, we will try to take data from there. So, at 2000 meters when flying at 30 meters per second with a weight of the UAV as 8.1 kg. So, with 0 0.4 taper ratio. So, what we have is E right. So, let us now assume the aspect ratio as 10 for this particular case. Let us assume aspect ratio as 10. So, now I will try to take a new, new sheet here. Let us take aspect ratio 10. Let, take, let us take the data corresponding data. So, the wing loading is otherwise the weight of the UAV is 8.1 kg, S of the UAV is what? For aspect ratio 10, S is approximately 0 0.8, 0 0.81 meter square. So, S is 0 0.81 because yeah meter square. No, this is for sorry wing loading of 10 not aspect ratio of 10 I am sorry this is wing loading of 10. So, the wing load so it is simply w upon w by s it is 0 0.81 meter square right. So, with this area and wing loading by considering an aspect ratio now the aspect ratio here varies from 4 to 10. So, for data 7 which is which corresponds to aspect ratio 10 and at wing loading 10 kg per meter square. And the wing span is about 2.8 right 2.84 meters 2.84 meters and the aspect ratio that we have considered here is 10 right and the wing loading is also 10 from the data 10 kg per meter square or 100 Newton per meter square approximately. So, and then what do I require essentially is this particular parameter C L design right. So, C L design here is, a, is approximately this C L design is 2.2 ok. So, let us consider this as an input here. So, for me to calculate sorry 0 0.22 not 2.2 0 0.22 ok. 0.22 yeah. So, the C L design from here is 0 0.216 which is 0 0.22. So, this is 0 0.22 we have considered. So, C L design is 0 0.22. So, the value of k for this particular aspect ratio and C L uh, aspect ratio. So, for aspect ratio 10 the value of k is So, the seventh value is 0 0.421. 0 so, the value of k is 0 0.0421, right? And where E, otherwise you can say uh, since aspect ratio is 10, we can also do this way aspect ratio is 10, and Oswald's efficiency factor for this aspect ratio is 0 0.7566. 0 0.76, okay? considering that E is 0 0.76. So, k can be 1 by pi 
1 upon pi e r right so these are done now what we need to do is i need to uh, we have to vary this we need to find out what is cl alpha 3d right cl alpha this capital let us cl here talks about three dimensional case right. cl alpha is equals to cl design upon cl uh, design upon a o a underscore design right minus uh, a o a underscore 0 c l ok 0 c l let me no, define this variables used so this is lift curve slope it is 3 d For, so, we need to vary this uh, uh, values angle of attack as well as uh, uh, design angle of attack and then angle of attack at, at 0 lift right. So, first of all let uh, I would like to vary these two parameters a o a underscore design angle of attack right. If it, if it varies from say 2 degrees or say 1 degree right. One uh, okay, one star pi by 180. So, varies from 1 degree with an increment of 0 0.5 degree pi by 180 up to 5 degrees, let us say. So, you have data for about 10 points here, right? So, pi by 180. Instead of 0 0.5, let me take it up. Uh, make it 5 uh, sorry 1 degree right or uh, yeah you can you can choose the uh, like interval just to minimize the num uh, plotting um, time i would like to use it as one step of one you can choose it to be 0.5 or point uh, less than that even less than that okay so this is how typical uh, design angle of attack no within this range because even that yeah L by D maximum for typical aerofoils will also fall within this range, maybe up to 7 degrees, you can say, yeah, maybe up to 7 degrees. And CL alpha from here is like depends upon AOA, right, and then alpha at which CL is equals to 0. So, if this varies, let us say, for AOA underscore 0 lift coefficient, right, uh, or sorry, angle of attack at, at which lift is 0 is from say, minus uh, 0 0.5 degrees to with an increment of 0 0.5 degree with an increment of minus 0 0.5 degree. So, it should be minus 0 0.5 or 0 0.5 right, it should be from uh, vary, varying some say 0 0.4 degree right. So, minus 4 degree say pi by 180 with with an increment of 1 degree. So, I am trying to convert this degree to radian here. So, this is pi by uh, 180. So, up to uh, say up to 0 degrees. Let us do that up to symmetric aerofoil let us say. So, this is times pi by 180. This is in general from 2 degrees right, 2 degrees or 3 degrees at least design angle of attack otherwise there is no use right we cannot use the effectively use the CL maybe from 3 degrees to be frank no? from 3 degrees so that makes sense. So, let me introduce the variables of this uh, iteration so from j is equals to j plus 1 no? so j is equals to 0 so it becomes what j is equals to j plus 1 here inside this loop. So, I would like to store angle of attack design of uh, j comma 1 
is equals to a by a underscore d multiplied by pi by uh, 180 by pi. I am storing it in terms of radi uh, degrees again pi by uh, 180 by pi, right. So, it is done a over a design and then So, we have C L alpha uh, 3 D right is not it. So, let us have another variable for the inner loop. So, C L alpha here depends upon both no? alpha design as A O A D as well as A O A at which C L is 0. So, I would like to store the second variable as well A O A at which 0 C L right 0 lift coefficient. So, which is again there I can simply store it as a single column vector or say I can repeat storing for each and every iteration outer loop iteration as well. So, this is equals to A O A underscore 0 C L times 180 pi 180 by pi. So, converting it to radians again. So, 0 lift angle of attack in radians. Okay. So, similarly design angle of attack in radians. design angle of attack in radians. Okay. C L design is what we need to produce right is not it when moving at 30 meters per second we need to produce the C L design. So, with the wing of aspect ratio 10. So, S we are not using it anyway here. So, weight of the UAV capital W is 8.1 times 9.81 okay. S of U is 0 0.81 because as we considered for wing loading 10 here and then what the what do we need. So, C L alpha is known. So, C L alpha 2 D ok. C L so let us make it small let us C L underscore alpha. So, talks about 2 D case. So, this is like C L alpha 3 D for that particular iteration upon 1 minus C L alpha 3 D on pi e here. Airfoil lift curve slope, which is 2D, right? And then we need to know what should be CL naught. Capital, so capital CL naught. We can, yeah. Capital CL naught. C 
CL naught is equals to CL alpha uh, yeah, 3D minus of uh, CL alpha 3D times alpha at which C, CL is 0, right. Okay. So, lift coefficient at 0 alpha for wing right. So, we need to now talk about lift coefficient at 0 alpha for airfoil. So, so this again depends upon C L alpha 2 D times the same angle of attack right because we considered that is a descent that as a descent assumption it is zero lift there is no induced angle of attack that is what we assume. So, it will be more or less same. So, what we have is lift coefficient or zero lift coefficient airfoil airfoil zero lift coefficient ok. Right. So, airfoil let us make this as airfoil underscore airfoil selection ok. So, now another important aspect is like once you select this you should also look at at that design CL are you able to achieve that particular L by D that you have considered right that is another aspect that you need to take care of. I am not going to do uh, include that particular aspect here right. So, figure 1 what I am trying to plot right now is uh, so for different design angle of uh, so angle of attack design which is nothing but trim angle of attack for that particular design CL right. So, for different values of uh, this uh, or say uh, for different values of 0 lift angle of uh, attack how this CL alpha is varying in CL alpha 3 D 2 D as well as CL naught 3 D 2 D right for wing and airfoil. At the same time we will uh, cross plot like uh, or superimpose not cross plot superimpose when uh, there is a change in design angle of attack what will be the like variation of these parameters with again uh, AOA at CL is 0 ok. Subplot mainly with uh, 3 way 4, 4 parameters right. So, let us talk, talk about only 4 rest if you are interested you can consider them plotting. So, what I am interested right now is in plotting for angle of attack for 0 CL right. So, 0 CL that is that will remain constant colon comma 1. So, that I am plotting for various design trim angle of attack. So, what I have is so I am plotting the variation of CL colon comma 1. So, this corresponds to when alpha is 3 degree design alpha is 3 degree or alpha trim is 3 degree for design CL right. Come so, I can say I can connect them with the same k colon k star. So, ok. And then, so I have to hold it on because this varies and yeah. this varies for various uh, design angle of attacks right, that we have considered. So, so, this can be B black. So, for 3 degrees, 4 degrees, 5 degrees this one right for 5 degrees this is for 6 degrees of alpha design right and then we varied it from so 3 to 7 degrees. So, K B G M R let us say and then M ok, control C, control V. So, this is for 5. So, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 degrees. So, and the Y label is C 
cl underscore back backslash l p h alpha right in degrees uh, so so sorry per radian c l alpha per radian that is what we you are going to get ok. So, this is three dimensional C L alpha underscore underscore 3 D ok. So, I would like to plot for second one which is instead of C L not 3 D right this is C L naught. So, what I can do is okay, this is C L naught. So, this will be C L underscore not 3 D. The th third plot will be C L alpha right, uh, small C L is not it. So, what we have is small c l right. So, this is capital c l otherwise capital c underscore small l ok or say c l alpha 2 d anyways we are giving it a name here 2 d. So, I do not think it will trouble us much. So, and then The final plot is about C L not right. C L not yeah, C L not two D instead of yeah. And X label is alpha at which C L is zero, right? Backslash alpha underscore C underscore L. Okay, so let's see. Just before doing this, I'll try to give this input so that I'll understand the code is initiated, right? Uh, okay. Yeah. So this is what. C L alpha 3 D how it is varying for different uh, so if I insert legend here so say this is if I take it here So, this first data corresponds to hmm, backslash alpha underscore d hmm, is equals to 3 degree. Okay. So, alpha d is 3 degrees, right. So, the second one corresponds to 4 degrees, right the third one corresponds to 5 degrees uh, otherwise backslash oh, d e g backslash it works ok anyways fourth one corresponds to 6 degrees if alpha design is at 6 degrees and alpha design is at 7. So, there are few optimization algorithms uh, in order to achieve these numbers. So, I, we are not discussing about those algorithms here. So, this is what no. So, at alpha say design alpha is at 5 degrees where you are able to achieve the same L by D right. So, at 5 degrees uh, say so this is like uh, this green color here. So, that 5 degrees uh, say if you were aerofoil C L naught or say alpha at which C L is equals to 0 is minus 2 degrees let us say 
right. So, this will be the corresponding CL0 of 2D. So, CL0 of the aerofoil should be 0 0.067 approximately for that particular case and then CL alpha 2D uh, should be, so this is per radian. Let us say the design CL is from say 2 degrees, C, uh, yeah design uh, angle of attack is from 2 degrees to 5 degrees, okay. So, that means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right. So, So, I am just modifying this, I am just removing 7 degrees trim angle of attack is too high to ask. So, just to make it more realistic, I am trying to remove that particular value. So, okay. uh, you can notice uh, so, for example, in this particular case when uh, you use a symmetric aerofoil even it demands no? uh, when you just trim it at 2 degrees alpha, right. So, this is for uh, I, I can insert the legend here. So, the black is meant for initial uh, alpha trim which is say if you are trimming at 2 degrees alpha the CL alpha 3D itself is close to 6 point 6 radians 6.2 radians which is quite high right is not it. So, you can say uh, for symmetric aerofoil. Say so, for the same uh, this things trim alpha for the same trim alpha which means the data 1 that corresponds to data 1 here right. Uh, so, if I if I have a cambered aerofoil which has uh, say you know uh, alpha at which CL is negative right at 0 0.5 deg minus 0 0.5 degree. So, then it uh, drops down to say about 5.3 right you can see this. Uh, so, this particular value may be 5 close to 5 here. So, yeah that is a uh, 5 per radian no, for wing, we are talking about 3 dimensional wing. In case of today, it is for, for further more high here, it is more than 8 or 7 which is not realistic, is not it. So, you need to choose a particular uh, value of this alpha at which CL is equals to 0 and then CL alpha 2D, CL not 2D, right. So, using those values, so from the uh, database, aerofoil database, you will be able to select a particular aerofoil. So, uh, once you select that CL0 and CL alpha 2D and CL alpha 3D, sorry CL0 uh, 2D, you can now go back to this aerofoil database. See here we have presented database of all the NACA aerofoils so from theory of wing sections. So, uh, so th this is based upon that data. So, you can find out what is the CL0 values here for this particular uh, aerofoils, right, and then the CL alpha per radian for this particular aerofoils and you can also see what is alpha at which uh, CL is 0. So, you can see these values, right. So, you can select based upon this look considering the corresponding L by D at that particular alpha, right, okay. Hope you learned something from this uh, exercise. Thank you.